DNA replication. DNA is a molecule made up of two strands twisted around each other in a double helix shape. Each strand is made up of a sequence of four chemical bases represented by the letter A, Z, G, and T. The two strands are complementary. This means that wherever there is a T in one strand, there will be a an A in the upper strands and wherever there is a C, there will be a G in the other strand. Each strand has a 5 prime end and a 3 prime end. The two strands run in opposite directions. This determines how each strand of DNA is replicated. The first step is DNA replication is to separate the two strands. This unzipping is done by an enzyme called helicase and results in the formation of a replication fork. The separate strand each provides a template for creating a new strand of DNA. An enzyme called primase starts the process. RNA base. This enzyme makes a small piece of RNA called a primer. This marks the starting point for the construction of the new strand of DNA. An enzyme called DNA polymerase binds to the primer and will make the new strand of DNA. DNA polymerase can only add DNA bases in one direction from the 5 prime end to the 3 prime end. One of the new strands of DNA, the leading strand, is made continuously. The DNA polymerase adding bases one by one in 5 prime end to 3 prime directions. The other strand, the lacking strand, cannot be made in this continuous way because it runs in the opposite direction. The DNA polymerase can therefore only make this strand in a series of small chunks called Agasagi fragments. Each fragment is started with an RNA primer. DNA polymerase then adds a sort of row of DNA bases in the 5' and the 3' directions. The next prime is then added further down the lacking strand. Other Osaka Okasagi fragments then made and the process is repeated again. Once the DNA has been made, the enzyme exonucleus removes all the RNA primers from both strands of DNA. Other DNA polymerase enzyme then fills in the gaps that are left behind with DNA. Finally, the enzyme DNA ligase seals up the fragments of DNA in both strands to form a continuous double strand. DNA replication is described as a semi-conservative because each DNA molecule is made up of one old conserved strand of DNA and one new one. Okay, that's all.